Hi. Today I'm going to tell a story um, that actually doesn't have to do with me, uh, but it does have to do with a walker. <laughs> that is my uh, my uncle Ray, uh, who Thomas Ray Walker. He was the oldest of the three Walker sons, and um, anyway, he had as with Papa, uh, <laughs> they both had motorcycles when they were when they were growing up, and so. Um, and this is a story that I tell whenever I do CPR first aid training classes um, about concussions. So, so the, the way I remember the story, it goes like this. Uh, Ray had been somewhere riding his motorcycle. He uh, pulled up behind a dune buggy that was stopped at a stop sign. For some reason or other, he didn't get stopped in time. And he hit the back of the the dune buggy with his motorcycle with enough force that it actually threw him over the, the whole length of the uh, dune buggy and he landed on the road in front of them. So the people in the dune buggy got out and they ran up to see, you know, was he okay? Apparently he got up, said that he was okay, he felt fine. Uh, and they then they asked if they could give him a ride to his house or he asked him I'm not sure which but anyway they gave him a ride to his house he got his pickup truck drove back to where the motorcycle was and then loaded the motorcycle in the back of his pickup truck drove it back home um, and I believe unloaded the motorcycle uh, put it away parked the pickup truck went in the house felt tired and laid down and then when he woke up from this, he had absolutely no memory of it at all. If I understand correctly, again, the thing that he, the last thing he remembered was pulling up behind the dune buggy. And then the next thing that he remembered was waking up at home. So obviously he had some short term memory loss, probably a serious concussion. I don't know if he went to the hospital after that or not. I, I have to say, perhaps Mama could put a comment in here or something and say whether he did or he just you know shrugged it off I don't know and one other thing too I just wanted to point out last night I was watching one of these videos I was showing it to Nanny Cindy and have you ever noticed that on TV and on movies when somebody's driving and they're you know I, I assume they're like in a fake car and they have a green screen behind them so that it looks like they're driving down the road but they're really sitting in a studio how much they move their hands I was just noticing about how little I move my hands on these videos when I'm driving because you really don't have to make many corrections and the ones you do are pretty small. So uh, anyway, just wanted to point that out. Love you. Thanks for watching.